Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are here for some more Icewind Dale Heart of Winter. In the last episode we were clearing out this Sahuagin temple. We killed a lot of fishy people, we killed a Sahuagin prince and we picked up a lot of loot. Some of which I am still yet to identify. So we're gonna start off this episode by using this, which I never remember. <laughs> really? It gave me a dead cat. Wow. Wait. This appears to be that cat. It is extremely well preserved and looks as if it is sleeping. Hopefully this animal was already dead before it was put into the bag, as living animals tend not to fare very well within its magical confines. We're just gonna put this here and pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna start by trying to rest. What is it? Or actually change some spells. I'm not, I'm not gonna use this. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna use this. So, um, what should I take? I guess I can take a Bolt of Glory for some damn, or I, I just take Harm. Let's, let's imagine a world that we are gonna fight a dragon and I can hit <laughs> with a Harm. It's never gonna happen, but um, it could be cool. So yeah, let's sign rest. I cannot rest here. That sucks. But I can rest. I can rest out here. So that's that's okay. Can I inform this guy that I killed his his friends? Well, not his friends. His old people. Come here, bitch. <laughs> So, I don't know if this area is safe, but I'm gonna try and rest here anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Let me put up some trees. I, ah, good thing I remembered. I also need to uh, set up my sequencer again. Because I did use my triple skull trap there. Okay, done. Uh, generically speaking, at least in Baldur's Gate, my preferred sequencer is honestly either um, vitriolic spheres because I like the damage type in acid or just the one I use the most it's remove magic but since we haven't really had the need to remove magic in this That's game awesome. I'm just gonna go with damage okay awesome we managed to rest properly uh, I'm gonna try it again just so we can finish healing I'm surprised it worked, but I'm I happy. Suppose I got some time to kill. <laughs> uh, let's get Cat's face on the PC. So she's now at 19 dexterity. Pretty cool. Gives us a nice buff to our AC. Let's get some stone skins going for me and Yan. A protection from evil. And some good emotion. Wish. Let's continue exploring. Wish. So we have this orb, which I broke in the last episode, but since something kind of unseen happened, I wanted to see what actually exists before we break this. So let's let's just explore. Wait, I can't explore. Oh, I gotta go through. Hmm. I gotta go through. It's not a pathway. In that case, I'm listening. I'm gonna buff a little bit more. I don't know what we're gonna find, but Why must you do that? I wanna be dead. Okay, and I also want chaotic commands on. That, that should be enough. These are our longest lasting buffs. See. Mm, sounds interesting. 
Hello? <laughs> so, you dare to follow me here? I think you will find that to be a fatal mistake. His animation was kind of PowerPoint-ish, wasn't it? <laughs> it wasn't very fluid. <laughs> um... Nah, bitch. Fatal only to you. Spoken like a true hero. Shall we put those words to the test? Uh, if I can avoid it, I'm gonna say no. Because I wanna buff properly before trying to fight a dragon. Uh, let's see. Wait, I'm curious. Returning here made it easy to find you. Why did you do it? I feared as much, but I had little choice. It was a calculated risk. To what end? To cheat death itself. To be born anew, as you see me now. Only by returning here could I do this. Okay. Why did you need to return here? When I built this lair, I included two special wards. One would serve as a beacon that would allow my spirit to find its way here upon my death. And the other would preserve a body almost indefinitely. Are these the, the wards we found outside? One was broken, the other one we can break? I then reared two offspring, devoid of their spirits, and placed their bodies in the preservation wards. I love it when the villains explain everything. The plan was simple. <laughs> if I were to die, my spirit would return here and find a new body in which to live again. Again? How did you rear young with no spirits? While their flesh was yet unformed, I warded the eggs so that no spirit could find a home within them. Ingenious. Though I dare say some would find what you did questionable. Would you rather I had bore them normally and then stripped their spirits from them? No. By doing what I did, they were nothing more than empty shells, ready for use. So, you found an interesting solution to the problem of mortality, but it still feels wrong somehow. Unfortunately, their father felt as you do and objected to my plan. Mm -hmm. Had he agreed to it, he could have shared immortality with me. This is a, an exemplary wife. I take it that's his skeleton in the field of bones? Yes, he attacked me and had to be slain. I regret... But it had to be. <clears throat> okay, why do you hate the Ten Town so much? Ages ago, dragon kind roamed Faerun freely. Then the civilized races came to power and began to encroach upon our lands. Bloody wars were fought in which your kind launched entire armies upon us. Against such numbers, even we soon fell. Now we are solitary creatures who hide in caves in faraway lands. We fear sleep, for it is often the sleep of death if we are discovered. And what does this have to do with Ten Towns? I was slain fighting for my homeland against an invading army. Ionan, a man of the Ten Towns, wielded the blade that broke my heart. An invading army? History paints a different picture, Ikazarak. Yes, and history is written by the victors, as they say. It is also said that history repeats itself. Oh, so she's afraid of another invasion. What do you mean? Look at the plight of the barbarians. Even now, they are being driven from their lands by the Ten Towns. Soon they will be left with two choices, extinction or absorption. They are a proud people and will not bend. They will choose extinction. So what? An entire culture oh, okay. will vanish, lost forever, 
all in the name of civilization, just as my culture has been lost. <laughs> yeah, but this is true. I find it hard to believe that you are doing this out of altruism. When I awakened from my sleep, I looked upon the world anew. And I was shocked to see how little had changed. My lands were still in the hands of the Ten Towns. The plight of the barbarians had not changed at all. I saw a kindred spirit in Wolfdane, so I joined with him to end this tragedy once and for all. Okay, so she was planning to command the barbarian army to kill off the Ten Towns in order to protect her dragon self. Okay, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, tell me something else. You were slain almost a century ago. Why did it take so long for you to awaken? The sword of Ionan had a special enchantment, almost an intelligence of its own. When the fatal blow was struck, it somehow knew that I would be born anew. The blade broke, sacrificing itself that I might be trapped. My spirit lay within my shattered heart at the bottom of Lac Dinishere. Um, isn't this the sword from the fisherman back in East Haven that we help him with the water spirit and then he gives us a sword? I kind of could have sworn that the name was Sword of Ionan. Huh. I can only guess that the blade was removed. Allowing my spirit to go free. Wow. So the water spirit pretty much made it so that the dragon can... Could be reborn. <clears throat> okay. The time for talk is over, Ikazarakt. You must die unless you agree to leave the ten towns in peace. Can you do that? This is... This is bullshit. I... I should have an option to just say die. I don't want to let her leave. Never. My heart was shattered long ago, and all mercy bled from the wound. I lost my love, my life, and my kingdom. I shall reclaim it all, or I will pass into oblivion like most of my kind. Draw your blade. Let us end this now. Uh, uh, so, okay. So, I'm definitely not properly prepared and buffed for this fight. Ideally... The person in front wouldn't be my sorcerer. He's actually the best tank that we have with stone skin and mirror images combined. But if this guy decides to throw a, a frost breath or something, I'm assuming he's a cold dragon. Uh, he can wipe out my party because we have no frost resistance other than the items already equipped. <clears throat> well, let's see what you can do, my friend. So be it. Okay, so let's fight. Um, mm -hmm. I could maybe try and buy some time by tanking with Cordant. <clears throat> and I want to put my Here I go. back line oh, all right. in the actual back. Uh, yeah, you're gonna go over Please there. You are going to in. I think you're gonna go use your plus five axe because even though this gives me plus two AC, I doubt the dragon is gonna miss all that often. So I just prefer that you hit. So you enrage <coughs> and you Patricia. Are to be most I want to see if he if he does something. In case he wants to interrupt my spell casting, so uh, let's just see what he does first. Yes. Okay. So I have mirror images. Let's see if we can yes. bait him. Corgan right. is enraged, so he can kind of just go in. Okay. He's not caring much what about our presence here thus far. There we go. Just what I expected. <laughs> we have cold damage. Let's cast this. At your service. Let's go back. <laughs> and let's cast improved haste.
first and foremost maybe on Patricia and we are gonna cast let's get Vukoni over here and setting is we're gonna swap your arrows to something a bit better Ooh, inferno I had I didn't notice I had these arrows I guess we can use them. Okay, Inferno Arrows it is. 1d6 plus 2 plus 1d10 fire. Does this even hit is the question, right? <clears throat> Let's see. So yeah. you can start shooting. I'm gonna move back. <clears throat> and... I'm listening. You can start smacking, okay? Oh, he also has a Sapwagin King. That's interesting. Okay, so wait. He's taking damage. Setting is hit. Okay, so he takes damage from these arrows. How much fire damage do you take? You actually take decent fire damage. So let's use our cold shot. I'm not very concerned about the Sakwagin right now. Ready. We cast improved haste on Patricia. She's just getting ready. What is I'm gonna for? cast improved haste on Setingish. Vicky is gonna cast recitation. And Jan Jansen. Let's try and reduce his magic resistance. Okay, cold shot. Fire! Okay, improve the setting, so 10 arrows per round. I'm gonna move back a little bit further. There's a lot of people coming here. Under Priestess. She still hasn't cast her goddamn. Okay, there we go. <laughs> go smack! He's already injured. I don't think he's gonna last. Okay. There goes the citation. Oh god, there's a lot of fishies back there. As you wish. Okay, so magic resistance lowered by a fair bit. Let's nuke. I think this will hit everything in this area. I'm just not entirely sure about Patricia and Corgan, but I will move them back when the skull trap goes out. You are gonna cast a slow back here. What is it? And are you still shooting normal arrows? Uh, it doesn't say if he's taking damage or not. Well, let's find out. Woo! Okay, so what happened here? Did I win? Wait, what? He's near death, he's slowed. Does he take damage from Setingish? Okay, so he takes damage from normal arrows? What the hell, really? That's kind of... Weakling status, right? Oh, just kill him then. At your service. We have some fishes, but I don't care. Wait, what? Did you guys notice like a cutscene that appeared in the middle? Oh well. Okay, well that's one dead dragon. So now we're gonna have some dead fishes. Okay. Oh. oh, wait, the king is alive. Oh, he's badly injured, so yes. he took three skull traps. Ready. To the face. <laughs> ah, my friends, my friends. We do not realize the power of this party. Oh, what's the Ikazarat Soul Gem? 
Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be careful about this. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen here. I await your instructions. I'm listening. Settings? Go shoot. At your service. Does she. I am ready as always. Is. Very does she resurrect if this is alive? Oh, wait, what is this? Save versus death. Ah, so the soul gem costs stinking cloud. Really? Stinking cloud? Is that the best you've got, man? Ready. Is that it's all? not gonna do much. Patrice is gonna blow you up, yep. Okay, so we shattered yes. the soul gem. And the door opened. Okay. What? Let's clear out this uh, cloud. Okay, so yeah, this was a pretty easy fight. Um, kind of what I expected to happen happened, which was the fact that we got hit by a, a cold breath and it nearly one shot yes, Cordon. But yeah, he, in the cutscene, he moved really close to the dragon, so I mean, I kind of expected it to happen. <laughs> That's alright. And I mean, we're alive, right? So, white dragon scales. I'm thinking these are plus one and plus two bolts. Oh, I forgot this. Pff, I actually forgot this. Debian's Rod of Smiting plus three. Against golems, it does more damage with a chance of destruction. Okay, okay, don't care. I don't even care about the harp. But I guess we can check it out just for just for fun. This would be helpful. Heal once per day. God damn it, man. Jan, you need use any item, Jan. <laughs> We could actually have a heal. Okay, so we have some bolts here. Uh, apparently regular arrows hit the dragon, which made me very curious, you know. Uh, shark skin and coral armor. Coral plate armor. I'm guessing this was from the king. The Sawagin really didn't do much there. The skull traps just took them out. Another cloak of displacement. Another pair of hands of Tacog. And a heavy crossbow plus one. A little bit underwhelming, but not not horrible. Some missile protection for her is cool. And I guess. I should just give these to her, right? I mean, why not? Well, sure. Take some strength, Viconia. Ah. All right. Uh, I like dragon fights. This one was yes, much more can. toned down than what I'm used to. to let's say a Fur Crag or Adelon. These are just references to Baldur's Gate. I'm sorry if if you guys haven't played the game, but those are just powerful dragons in the Baldur's Gate games. And at least with SCS, they... they are a lot more problematic than what we just saw. What is it? Okay, and so this was the fight without me breaking that gem outside. I don't know what would happen if we hadn't, uh, if we had broken the gem. Maybe she would be weakened. Maybe she would be more powerful. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so naturally the play here would be. So I might make like a video for this later for this specific fight, but that's. Uh, Ever since I knew we were going to be fighting a dragon, it, it's, it's been hinted throughout the game. That's why I stocked up on um, 
protections from fire and cold. And ideally, what you should do is before you walk in here, you're gonna have protections from co Oh, I'm actually dumb. I could have done this on, on Cordumped. I had a way to prevent that damage and I just forgot. Because I did pick uh, I did pick up some potions of cold resistance as well. Yeah, I could have drank this when he was about to do his breath. Okay, well. I always forget potions, so I'm not that surprised, but live and learn. We're gonna level up Corgan, an additional proficiency slot. Awesome. And uh, you also leveled up in Thievery. I also didn't use any traps the entire game, because I also forget about them. Uh, so just go for some points here, I guess. Why not? Okay. Hmm. That's done. Let's As go out. Best I can. Oh. With the death of a Kossarog spirit, centuries of hate were at long last put to rest. The tribes of the north and the people of the ten towns sheathed their weapons and resumed their uneasy watchfulness of each other. It was a peace of sorts, for as long as peace ever lasts. Wolfdane's body was returned to the burial aisle. With his return, the wailing of the virgins fell silent, and they slept beneath the earth with their king once again. And of those brave ones that came to defend the north, what of you? As I look upon you all, I see you as you once were, as you will be, branching out to glittering futures. Tales follow you, and tales await you, as they always do for those whose hearts yearn for adventure and glory. Though I need not say more of your future, for all that I have spoken of, all that I have seen, shall be revealed to you in time. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <clears throat> I mean, I, 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 I guess this, this was the end of the Heart of Winter expansion? Wait, I'm kind of confused. Wait. <laughs> Wait, so I, I'm back in Hilder's house in Kaldahar. I see. Can I not go back to? It said my map got updated, right? I think it did. Well, t okay. Okay, so I'm just a bit surprised because I have some more stuff to do in <laughs> in the other town. I think there was a guy with a quest uh, at the inn, I believe. Okay, is there really no way for me to go back? Huh. Immediately. Okay. Wait. Because th this makes for a very anticlimactic ending, right? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't even aware this was gonna happen. It shall be done. Um. Okay. So I I guess I gotta I gotta load the game back. Right. I, I mean, I can make a save just in case, but Hikazarak, or whatever the name is, dead. 
but I gotta load back uh, to my quick save. Yeah. <clears throat> well, okay. So I guess I can't. I can't kill the dragon just yet. I need to go out, finish all the quests I have. There was also what looked to be a quest of a great big white wolf that killed one of the um, the Digby brothers. So that's something I also want to check out. Um, but I guess first of all, since we're here, <clears throat> I want to see what changes if we break this. So everybody takes some some cold damage. You destroyed the preservation ward on the young dragon body, allowing it to die. So I'm gonna do two things here. <clears throat> First thing is I want to see what happens with this broken, and the other thing is I want to see. <laughs> I want to be silly. Sorry. I want to see if Patricia can solo the dragon because the dragon was kind of easy right I am gonna swap for a 100% cold resistance armor okay because we do have the means to do that what? Inserter, last cast the fair okay so holy power is cast righteous magic what is Recitation. I wait your instruction. I'm gonna improve pace naturally in the end. Let's go for I forget the name of this. God damn it. Entropy shield. And let's cast a drop on Holy Might and Increase Pace. Let's put it in the front of the party. So she's the one closer to the dragon, and let's see what happens. Very well. I think at this point, cold damage will heal Patricia. Hello, Mr. So, Dragon. You dare to follow me here. I think you will okay. find that so to be fatal a spoken to like a true hero. Shall Prepare we to die. <clears throat> okay, to the so tests? nothing fancy here. The dragon is still here. So maybe the gem is broken? Okay, so everybody I, back up. I... You have my undivided Go nuts, Patricia. Yeah, baby. Oh, they heal the priest. Uh, the priest. They heal the dragon. You're dead. Oh, I got the spell. Oh. Come on, don't do me like this. You can do it, Patricia. No. No. No! Uh. <laughs> okay. At your service. Yeah. Well, wait. So the gem is still present. Patricia killed him! <laughs> Patricia did kill him! Hey! What the hell? <laughs> Get out of here! Okay, I don't care about you guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, so what? Oh! No, I don't understand what happened. What's that? Huh. This is strange, right? Go, Satine, yes, go, Satine, yes. You can do it, dude. Yes. <laughs> I 
So, I don't really understand what's happening. What was the difference from breaking the thing to not breaking the thing? Maybe if we don't break it and once he's badly injured he walks over there and fully heals? I do not know. Okay, let's, let's see this again. Sorry, at this point I'm just like testing out stuff for science. Because Patricia actually killed him, it seems. This time I'm also gonna send in Setinish to just, so you know, you fully murder like him. A true hero. Um, Shall just to see what happens to yes. that test. So let's Ready. haste him. Um, I kind of wanted to wanted to try and slow him. Let's let's try and see if we can do that. What? And just for fun, <laughs> can I harm this guy? Let's see. This is okay. What is it? So setting yeah. is buffed. Cold shots. Slow did not hit. Oh, oh, Vicky's casting harm. Oh, no, no. Okay, so wait. The guy is near death. So what does this mean? Is he gonna stay near death until the cutscene triggers or something? Let's get you out of there. No, I mean... Because he is getting smacked, right? He's getting healed. He looks at the gem. And then he just dies. I think he tries to heal himself with the gem. But since we broke the thingy, he dies. Okay, so, uh, once more, in the name of science, we're gonna try and do this with the Insert thing on. Okay, so we have holy power, let's get righteous magic. What? I'm gonna kill him quickly, I promise. Or her. Magic, Entropy Shields, yes. Improved Face on Fatigue, Improved Face on her. Let's bust out the good arrows. Where are they? They're over here. Okay. And I'm also gonna improve Haste Corgan because why not, right? Just extra damage. Okay. Quick save this in case we want to test something else. Yes. Uh, I forgot to take Cordon out of the front, but that's okay. So, once, um, once the cutscene triggers where the dragon is trying to move back, I'm gonna stop all DPS. So, you yes, yes, it's fatal to you, like prepare to die. Mm -hmm. Let's Shall drink one of these just so I don't get one shot. Okay, and then we can just ready. start murdering. I am ready as what I suppose it? I got some time to kill. What's it to be? Go in, Corgan. Yeah. I drank my potion. You can even stay behind. He's injured. 
Wait, did the cutscene trigger already? I'm not sure. Because the screen flickered. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no, he, he still seems to want to fight. I'm gonna kill the fishies. Ah, the things I do in the name of science. Well, he's still wandering about, so let's shoot him some more. He's gotta, he's gotta pretty much be dead, right? He's trying to hurt me for some reason. That's a bad choice, my friend. I am the tankiest person here. Okay, so all the fishes are dead. And so, do you want to go check out your gym or what? No. Come on, go do it. Okay, he, he doesn't seem to want to go for the gym yet. Okay, now he's going. Okay, so what happens? He used the gem. We apparently got 50,000 experience. Mm -hmm. I see. And he dies. So what's the difference? What is the actual difference? It doesn't make one. I don't understand. Uh Oh, my characters have been exported. Okay. So, I don't understand what the difference is between breaking the gem outside or not breaking the gem outside. I was kind of expecting that if we didn't break it, Hikazarak would come over here and get fully healed or buffed or something of that sort. That was definitely not the case. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, this fight is extremely easy. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm kind of curious, but... So, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to load the game back to this point. Yes. And before we actually go yes. and deal with the Kazarakt, we need to go finish our quests back in the town. So I'm gonna make the save here. How? 13. And we're gonna have to <laughs> to go do those quests before we kill what is apparently the final boss of the Heart of Winter expansion. So, um, it's gonna get a bit mixed up with the videos, but yeah, so this was the final fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very, very easy. Uh, especially when compared with the final fight from the original campaign. Uh, Belifet, that fight is just... It's it's a whole lot of bullshit. A lot of traps, instant dispels. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is done. Uh, this is not the end of the Heart of Winter expansion. I think we still have some more stuff to do. So expect some more episodes in this playlist. And once I'm done with all of the quests, we're gonna come back here to give a proper ending to Ikazarakt, and then we're gonna kill um, Belifet as well, the end game boss of Icewind Dale. So, as always guys, I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, thank you so much for being here in the channel with me watching some Icewind Dale. I definitely enjoy producing these videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching them. 
Uh, leave a comment telling me if you are liking the videos or if not, if you have any questions, any suggestions, you know, anything in general. If you want to get updated about more videos coming to the channel, uh, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.